morning everybody this is day two all of our trip here to new york we've already been fed we had to make an emergency stop to get a new microphone which is why the audio is terrible in this thing i don't have it yet but we'll get it later and we are going to head out to the statue of liberty No matter where you go, photography can be challenging. Today the weather is going to be the challenge. We are going to try and capture some images at the Statue of Liberty. This trip is for my mom and my aunt. I'm acting as their tour guide, so part of my job is to get them around New York City. Hey guys, we just got out of the Staten Island, or excuse me, the South Ferry subway station and we're immediately greeted by a salesman uh, trying to sell us a package to get out to both Liberty and Ellis Island. This is not really where you're supposed to pick up the ferry, so kind of watch it, a little shady there. To get your ticket, set your GPS to Castle Clinton National Monument. Inside, you can purchase your tickets and there is a military discount. You'll have to pass through airport style security on your way to the boat. This boat makes two stops before heading back to New York. First, Liberty Island and then Ellis Island. Make sure you board the correct boat to return to New York or you may end up in New Jersey. Inside the museum is a very cool interactive display where you can add your story to the history of Liberty Island. Uh, let's go see a picture up here. You can also see the original torch. So here's the challenge. The sky and the light is dull. So I use the sky as a minimalistic background for Lady Liberty. Here I was focusing on what is called copy space. That is empty areas where graphic designers can add content to your image. Our next stop, where many families' histories began in the United States, Ellis Island. Lunch at Ellis Island. All right, really cool. We just had lunch in the same room that my great great grandfather did. We also took this opportunity to look up a little family history. We got a session on the computer, so we're going to do a little research. All right, passenger search, here we go. 65 million passengers. Okay, so how do these spells name with? P-E-T-E-R. Well, no luck with great, great grandpa, but we just found my grandmother. Well, after half an hour searching, no luck. So our latest theory is that we family changed their name to get away from the mafia when they came here. We don't know. <laughs> you like that one? I look for any chance I get to reconnect with my grandparents. We found my grandmother's name on the Wall of Honor before heading back to New York. As we left this historic place, I had a chance to reflect on the importance that it played for my grandmother at age five and her four siblings. It was their opportunity to leave Scotland for the new opportunities of America, to become Americans, and in later years, defend her adopted nation. I can't help but to wonder if Grandma had a hand in this. I went all day without getting any great shots and look at what happened on the boat ride home. The light literally went from this to this in a matter of seconds. 
I had to work fast on a rocking ship. In this situation, take a lot of photos. Since I was on a moving platform, a tripod would have been useless. I needed to compose an image and take as many shots of that composure as I could. I also took advantage of a water and Lightroom. Each of these images were taken seconds apart. I used Lightroom to change the color of the light to create different moods to hopefully get more sales of these images. That is it for today from New York City. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and remember, never stop exploring.